and we should be live. You're pushing whose buttons? <laughs> Probably yours. That's <laughs> what I live for. All right. Um, so this is, oh. yes, Talk goodbye. <laughs> this, uh, I'll just. Why don't you fill the dead air, I'll, would I'll you? I'll fill the dead I, air. I, I, I could report on what he's doing, but I, I don't know if I should. I'm going to check that out. Sound? Yeah, it's on Welcome this, back. Is this in the actual video? We are live, so it's in yeah. the actual video, yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Just making sure. This is a great start. This, yeah. <laughs> this is just the green room. Green room, this yes. This is not the real show. This is where we see if we actually have audio. I'm getting a thumbs up, so we do have audio. Just one so, thumb up. A thumbs up? Yeah, a that's thumb the, up. A thumb up. I got a thumb up. Yeah. Should we discuss that or should we talk about I mean, we, <laughs> Memorial Day? <laughs> like uh, Englishisms? Englishisms. Americanisms? Like, yeah. Uh, Idioms? Sure. Clichés? Sure. Adages? <laughs> Doing anything in okay. interesting for <laughs> Memorial Day? Uh, yes. I'm actually, for the first time, I'm going to be going to the parade. The parade, I guess the there is Memorial one Day parade in, in, in Appleton. Appleton. Yes, it ends up at the uh, the at the cemetery. End? At the end, it at does end. end up at the end. Stops at the and end. And it begins at the beginning. <laughs> so where are you going to be on the route? I don't, yeah. I don't know. We should let it's everybody be a know. Surprise. Right? Yeah. Right. I, I guess just it, look for the big crowd. Yeah. Just look for because that's where and you'll that's be. That's where I'm not going to be. No, you, you won't be telling jokes. No. No. No jokes? No, they'll just look at me and laugh. No need to speak. Um, so oh, so I got invited over. Pardon? Continue. Okay. So my daughter's in the, um, my oldest daughter's in the uh, marching band for Appleton East. Did not know this. Okay. Well, you do know. Um, and uh, so they are playing in the Memorial Day Parade. And marching and playing at the marching. same time. Yeah. Wow. Well, they're not going to be chewing gum, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> not her. She plays the clarinet. So that oh, would okay. be... That would be very bad if that went through the clarinet. So uh, this is why you're going? This is why I'm going, yes. Uh, because you've never gone before. Correct. So, Thanks for listening. It's temporary, I assure yes, you. That's right. <laughs> yes. What are you doing for Memorial Day? Anything? I have no plans. You have no I, plans. I hear there's a parade. <laughs> yeah, that's what I hear. It's right down there, here, actually. marching bands. And it is right down here, actually. Where, where, do you know the route? Oh, it probably it goes down. It begins at the beginning. <laughs> ends over there. It ends, I think it goes down Pacific Street. But it, and it probably hits college at some point. Uh, I think it it's may, might start on college. Starts on college and goes up to the cemetery. Yes. It's, a, it's not as big as like the Flag Day Parade and Christmas Day Parade or Christmas Parade. No, but I mean, what else are you going to do? What else are you going to do? You've what, gotta what go else see. am I going to do? Yeah, you've got to go. Uh, three oh. of my girls have softball practice that day, so I'll be doing that too. You're doing a lot of softball, aren't you? Oh, yeah. But you're enjoying Actually, that. they're doing more softball you're, than I am. You're just watching? I'm just doing the running, yeah. And you're cheering. running? Yes. How do you run? Aren't you just sitting in the bleachers, yelling? I drive. We, we made so I drive. Oh. Yeah. It's well, that's not running. Okay, so I drive them places. You're you're being transportation. Yes. But that's a joy. Oh, it is. Yes. Depends it, if they won really the game or not. <laughs> Do they have to win in order to enjoy it? They prefer to win. Though. Oh, for me to enjoy it, I win. I, I enjoy I it win. all the time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but if they win, they're much much happier. Yes. But even if they don't, they, they had a good time out there. Right, definitely. Because they enjoy it. You're not making lost, them play, are you? Unless they lost the game, then, for the team. Then, for the team. Yeah, right. I bet that never, uh, never happens. Never happens. No. No, you can't. Not yet. Pin it on one That's person. That's why it's always a joy on the way home. Unless it's a two-person team, then maybe you can assign blame. Right. There's probably more than two people on a softball team. There sure are. See, we still have a minute. Of Do we? <laughs> yeah. Where are we going now? Um, let's see here. We've gone all the way to Memorial Day. Are you doing anything for Memorial Day? I have no plans for Memorial no Day. No plans. But I, I'll repeat this, but I town? hear there's a parade. <laughs> yes, because I'm cat sitting. Oh, cat sitting. Because uh, Steph's going out of town. And you know the best kind of cat? What is the best kind of cat? Well, they can Google it, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna start the I'm show better. now. <laughs> yeah, let's... I'm Let's do turn off the green room this. and hit a intro video. How's that sound? Sure.
Isn't that a little close? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, thank you for joining us today and welcome to episode number 10 of the absolutely amazing series known as BSTV. Butcher Shop Television. <laughs> thank you very much. Today is Wednesday, May 24th, 2023, and we are broadcasting live from smack dab in the middle of... Jacob's Meat Market. My name is Eric, and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself, everyone's favorite Prince of Pastrami, Mr. Luke Jacobs. Luke, <laughs> Eric. I haven't seen you in forever. It's so oh, nice. Oh, it's been a week. It's been a week, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's been a week. Uh, what do we got going on today? Uh, we got some weekly specials. Uh-huh. So the usual? Yes. And then what? Brats of the Week. Brats of the Week. But then we're, who's your special guest? Dawn. Dawn. From Simple Simon Bakery. Simple Simon. Oh, yes. I know the place. Not the complicated one, the simple one. The simple one. I'll cover the special days coming up. Because okay. I kind of like those. Okay. Uh, is there a winner for last Plus, week's? Plus, I, uh, <laughs> I didn't do my research. Is there a winner for last week's contest? I think so. Is there going to be a new contest? I think there should ought to be. <laughs> Absolutely. Not, this, this is a shtick now, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. For anyone who may not know, please tell the audience where we are. We are at Jacob's Meat Market, 544 North Law Street in Appleton, Wisconsin. That's at the corner of? North Law and East Pacific. North Law and East Pacific. And you're a meat market. We are. You've been here how long? Since 8 o'clock. <laughs> Very uh, good. 8.15. Just open. 8.15. Yeah, right. The store has been in business since? 1945. 1945. You've been running it ever since? Close. Close. Very close. Feels like it, doesn't it? It sure does. But Every you don't, morning. Meat market. You sell more than meat. We do. We have like groceries, cheeses, groceries, cheeses, produce. You have a little bit of everything. Bakery. Yeah. I do all my shopping here. You know that. You Absolutely know. not. And you even Because get... we don't sell alcohol. <laughs> you don't. Yeah. Correct. I can't remember the last time I... Anyway. Maybe it was last Probably night. Probably at the bar. You have, you have new products this week. We do. One of which I am very excited about. Yeah. They are both mustards. These in Beide Zenfen. Zenfen. Yeah. Yeah. Ach, die meine Güte. Auf Deutsch? Auf Deutsch, ja. Süße Senf und? Und das ist uh, scharf. Scharf. Yeah. So, in English that would be? Uh, spicy. Spicy, or and hot. this would be? They call it sweet, sweet. and spicy, but yeah. I call it sweet. It's yes. Sweet. Now, why Bavarian. am I? This is the one I wanted you to get. Why did I want you to get this? Because it's made right in Germany. And? This and is a good brand. And we can talk about German. <laughs> this is what you eat with uh, vice versa. That's not what I eat with Weisswurst. This is what you should be eating with Weisswurst. Yes. This is the only acceptable mustard for Weisswurst. And you, now so you, you can't eat this? No. Eat it with this? No. no. Okay. You, it would be frowned upon. <laughs> you can use that on your on your brats. I'll bet you have brats of the week this week. We do, yes. So, yeah, I'm very excited about this. I'm taking this one. Just okay. so you know, I'm not okay. even going to pay for it. Okay. I'm not even going to pay for it. So just like everything else. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What? Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, there you go. We'll get you up. You want to fill us in on the graduation parties, the pre-orders again? Sure. We talked a little bit about it last week. I think it's in the ad you have coming out in the new Appleton magazine, which will probably be here tomorrow. Of which course. Everyone should of come course. by. You and had get. like six weeks, six six issues ago. Was here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we have uh, we we make a hot beef. We make a shredded turkey, sloppy joes, uh, barbecue pork. Um, we can slice ham and tie it for you, and so you can just heat it up and, and serve it to your uh, your guests only if you want to impress them, though. Only if you want to impress them. Yes. Which, of course, we do. Of course. We do. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And how do people order this? Come uh, in? They could just, yeah, they could come in um, and uh, kind of request what they, uh, the amount that they need. Um, they could also give us a call on, uh, on the phone at 920-733-1031. Um, and also, the nice thing that we do is um, if you'd like buns, to go along with those uh, those meat items, you can just give us a call and we'll have them here. Um, we'll ask That's for them to be sliced convenient. from Simple Simon. Yes, because yes. you kind of need that. Right, God. and you know I know that uh, Aunt Mary needs something to do while everybody's getting ready for the party and everything like that. So she probably wants to slice the buns. But if it's already done, then you don't have to worry about her slicing her finger or anything. Yeah, we can't have that. Can't right. have that. I would I would go for the convenience <clears throat> of. Definitely. Give me everything so I can just have the guests come over One and stop. eat. Yes. Eat and leave. Eat, eat and, and leave. leave. So uh, the leaving part. this is it says for graduation parties, but this is actually for anything. Sure. If you're definitely. having a group. Yeah, doesn't definitely. Have to be graduation. Yeah, I mean we do uh, we do funerals, we do um, birthday parties, all that sort of stuff. But we don't cater, so you'd have to come here and then heat it up yourself. Okay. I did not know this. I'm I yeah, I learned something today. And he's listening. Wow. Well, Put that uh, on the calendar. Temporary, temporary. Temporary. Today is a banner day. I am. I really like this day because you know what starts today. 
banter day, did you say? A banner day. Oh, banner day. It's banter day every day. Today is a banner day. Okay. Banner day because today your brat fry starts up. Yes. uh, Which is something you do every Wednesday in the nice weather. Yes. Uh, And today it's pork and beer brats for lunch. Guess where I'm eating lunch today? Um, (laughs) Your parking lot, I suppose. My parking lot, yeah. (laughs) Maybe on the shelf over here. Uh, and this comes with something. Do you know what it comes with? Uh, baked beans and a bag of chips. Bag of chips. Yes. And it comes with two brats. Two brats, and it can be two porks, two. You always do it with two, and Correct. you can do two of each or one of each. Right. Yep. So I'm going to go for two pork. Okay. And I just put my order in right now. There's no nobody there. Take it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a reminder here. A reminder here because you're going to a parade. You're closing down the store right. on Monday, this coming Monday, which is Memorial Day. Right. Uh, what do you think? Because you're closed, should we also close the schools? Yeah. How about the banks? Yeah. Give the post people a day off too? They need it. That's okay. You're such a generous They need man. it. <laughs> Moving. But be sure those Amazon packages are still delivered though. Well, that's a whole different thing. Yes, <laughs> right. I could probably get something delivered on Yeah, Monday. no doubt. Not by me. Do you have a joke? I do. We cannot go any further without a joke. Okay. I am ready. How many telemarketers does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know how many telemarketers does it take to change a light bulb. Uh, Only one, but they have to do it while you are eating dinner. Ah, That's funny. Right. That's funny. Occasionally you have a funny joke. Dawn was laughing, so that's all that (laughs) matters to me, because she didn't hear it before. I have have one about it. Oh, she was choking. Never mind. She was choking. (laughs) It was that good. I have one about food too. Okay. Yeah. What do you call friends with whom you like to eat? Family? No. Taste buds. Taste buds. Taste buds. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, she laughed at that one. Oh, she's geez. not choking. <laughs> she's joking or choking? She, is she joking or is she choking? Is she laughing? What is? What's going? She's I laughing and applauding. Her. I'll turn well, the camera. Turn around. That's fine. Uh, I want to remind people to sign up for your mailing list because it's fantastic. Yes. So you can sign up for your mailing list, Jacob's yes. Meat Market mailing list, on any page of your website, your website. which is? Jacob'sMeatMarket.com. You have a website. You are. We do. Yeah, yeah. So it's modern. Like downtown. And all you have to do is provide your email address. Yes. And then you'll get an email every Sunday morning with the weekly lunches. Yes. And every Wednesday morning with the weekly specials, you would you would already know what he's going about what he's about to talk about. Right. Shall we do that now? Um, I think we shall. We shall. Um, what, what have you got the up nice first? The nice thing about, also, you didn't tell him. So tell on him. the bottom of the Sunday um, ad, we have a little joke. A little do dad, we? dad joke. Oh, really? Yes. Do you know what it is this week? Uh, I do. Go it's for something it. About, <laughs> something about a barometer. Oh, does anyone want to buy a broken barometer? A broken barometer. No pressure. No pressure, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you come up with good ones. Yeah. I usually enjoy them very much. <laughs> I do. You should spread them. <laughs> I try. I try. Okay. You, you have specials here. We do have specials, uh, yes. And this is a big one, the first one. Yes. Go for it. Uh, it's a USDA Choice steak special. Okay. We have uh, T-Bones on sale for $13.99 a pound and Porterhouse for $14.99 a pound. Uh, I know what a T-Bone is. What is a Porterhouse? So a T-Bone, is a, a T-bone is a bone in New York strip. Aha. Uh-huh. So a Porterhouse on the other side of the loin um, is a New York strip and a tenderloin. Together. Together. With As the a, bone in the middle. With the bone in the middle. Yes. Yes. Ah. So that's why we get a dollar more a pound because it's the more preferred. It has the tenderloin. Um, a lot of uh, couples buy one and I, then one one gets the, uh, the the New York strip and the other one gets the tenderloin. It's like two steaks in one. Right. Like two steaks in one. This Just this, like that. Can you do them on the grill? You can, like yes. perhaps on Memorial Day? I would. But you'd have to buy them by Saturday because you're closed on Monday. Right. Where are and we going Sunday. Now? And some. Yes. And some. Uh, next, we have Jacob's own smoked Polish sausage oh, for I it was... just five forty nine a pound. Oh, Polish! I was reading it as Polish. Polish you sausage. You can polish the sausage if polish you want. You watch out. <laughs> no, you watch Smoke. out. You already got me. You already got me. <laughs> we'll be right back. Polish sausage. Yeah. Uh, what is Polish sausage? Uh, Polish sausage is uh, similar to a, a natural casing wiener, uh, but there's garlic and mustard seed in it. Oh, so it's a wiener that has been spiced up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I mean, mustard isn't really that spicy, so. Depends on what kind of mustard, isn't it? You've got a yeah, spicy mustard. Depends one. if you put this one in there. <laughs> and, oh, oh, you got a fish here. Yes, fish. yes, it's not Lent anymore, but we're still doing it. Uh, we have some frozen Icelandic haddock for $9.49 a pound. Delicious. It is, it is. You like it, do you? 
I do like it. Do you yeah, do like Haddock is actually my favorite fish. Is it really? Yeah, it's kind of the only fish that I eat. Well, it's it's a good choice. It is. Now, you do a walleye for lunch once a month. Yes. And that's delicious. Yes, we had one last week. Yeah. it's That's probably my favorite. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Of your fish lunches. Right. That one is my Not favorite. Not the holy haddock? Not Speaking the haddock. It's good, though. Okay. But the walleye. We'll talk later. Hard to we'll beat. Okay. Hard to beat. You've got some right. boneless chicken breasts over yes, there. Yes, we do have a cordon bleu, cordon bleu, stuffed uh, chicken breast for four ninety nine a pound. Pre-stuffed. Pre-stuffed, yes. With cordon bleu. Yes. Which is what? Which is uh, ham and Swiss cheese. Oh. And then uh, that's stuffed inside the boneless chicken breast and then uh, wrapped with bacon. Is this fresh or frozen? This is fresh. Fresh. Nate so was just making them about a half an hour just ago. Throw them in the oven. Yes. Right. Or you can bake them. Uh, so you can bake them in the oven. <laughs> you can, can, you can roast throw them in the though. oven, yes. You, uh, you could also um, grill them, but I would wrap them, wrap them in aluminum foil really tightly. Okay. Um, and then, uh, because otherwise the cheese would just melt out. This is if you have a grill. Correct. First, get yourself a grill. Yeah, step one. Well, it is grilling season. It is. So you're gonna, people are going to be doing all the cooking outside. Right. You're Especially cooking right now weekend. because you've got the brats today. I'm not. I'm on a TV show. Oh, are you on TV show? Well, something's going on out back. Right. Where are we going now? Right. Next, we have uh, Luke Approved. Luke Approved? Yes. Oh. Yes. Again, hard or Genoa salami. I'm going to say it's Eric Approved as well. Is it? Because more often than not, I will buy one or both of those when I'm at your meat counter. You will. And I think I prefer the Genoa. Okay. The difference Why is, that? is there's very little difference, right? Right. The Genoa has peppercorn kernels yeah. in it. Yes. And, and that's the only difference. Right. They're both hard. It's the kernels, right? It's the kernels. Yeah, it's the kernels. If you put it in the in the microwave, it'll pop. Oh, I'm gonna try that. Okay. As soon as we're off the air. Okay. As soon as we're off the air. You leave me no. They're 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 slight. <coughs> the kernels Correct. are slight. Correct. But you could probably get a chunk of it. Yeah. I'm gonna try this. All yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, and Let that's me know a good prize. So I'm gonna stock up. Uh, that is one of my favorite things to have yes, yes. in I the mean, refrigerator. It's, I mean, it's it's uh, summertime, so a lot of people are making sandwiches. They're not. Yeah, they're good for sandwiches. Good. They're good for yeah. snacks. Yeah. Broadside. It's good for everything. Yeah. 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 And that one. I just found out actually this weekend that my my daughter likes uh, hard salami. You did not know that. The middle prior. one. No, I didn't. I didn't know that. You she always get summer sausage in her in her lunch, and, and I had some extra from a, a meat and cheese tray. Yeah. I she think said, I, I really would like say that, I prefer yeah. the salami too. Yeah, over yeah. summer sausage. Over summer sausage. Okay. Not that I know the exact difference. That's uh, good. But it, it has more flavor. The, the salami. Yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next is about delicious pork. smoked pork chops for four sixty nine a pound, which is a great price. Pre smoked. Pre smoked. Pre smoked. Yes. Lots of smoke. Uh, it's it's similar to like a ham. Okay. I would say so. Delicious. Delicious. Does it yes. say delicious? It, it is, even yeah. says delicious. Yeah. You know how to read. That's that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, so Follow the smoked up on pork chops. <laughs> yes, uh, the smoked pork chops are just like a ham. Um, one of our employees calls them a ham steak um, because she takes that and she just puts it in the pan, in the pan and just pan fries it. Oh. Um, so what I like to do is um, either pan fry it or grill it on one side, kind of brown it on one side, flip it over, sprinkle a little brown sugar on there, and then once that brown sugar melts, then it's ready to go. Ready to so go. The, so the nice thing about the smoked pork chops is that they're ready to go, they're ready to eat as they are. Um, so all you're doing is just heating it through. Oh. You could eat it right out of the refrigerator. Sure. They're cooked. Right out of the case. If you want to just come in here and just grab one, grab one and just start munching. Is there a bone? There is a bone. There is a bone. Yes. So it is a pork chop with a bone. Yes. Oh, but that's. Uh, so if I were to get one, what does it weigh? One chop? Uh, depends how big it is. Usually about uh, three quarters to a pound. Three quarters to a pound. Yeah. Okay. And you can get them thinner or thicker if you want to. Dinner. I'm thinking dinner. Dinner. Yeah. yeah. I just do. I'll right do all my your brat right lunch. Here. Brat lunch and, yes. and pork dinner. Where are we going now? <clears throat> brats of the week. Brats of the week. You have to do, do the sound. Do brats of the week. There we go. Was that <laughs> Adam's family? Was that the <laughs> something yeah. like that? Which brat are we starting with? Was that the sound that you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah. You, oh, okay. you gave us the sound. Good for you. <laughs> Good You're hired. For you. <laughs> you want to finish the show here, Eric? We're on the air. That's we are, yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. Okay, I'll do it. Jacob's okay. on what? Beef brats. Yes. So this is a pork brat where you have removed all the pork and replaced it with beef. <laughs> we make it with the pork and oh. then we extract yes. the pork and then, and so then just the beef, the beef is left in there. Yes, yes. Do all brats have both pork and beef? Typically, yes. Okay. Except for the, so the beef brats are 100% beef. 100% beef. However, their casing is pork. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's a very thin layer of pork if you technically So call it's a it brat. That. But it's a beef brat. Correct. Oh, that sounds good, actually. That 
It's good. Yes, it's delicious. Nice. Is that one of the ones? No, we're doing pork today. I'll yes. Think. Okay. Yes. Beef and we brats. also have Jacob's own beer brats. Beer brats. Yes, and look at that. This is where you, you... go back to beer and beef. They, they look really similar right there. Yeah, it's one letter. Just one letter. <laughs> Uh, this is where you make the, the pork broth and then extract all the pork and put the beer in. Yes. Okay. No, yes. this is pork and beer. Correct. Is it beer or is it? It's a beer flavoring. Beer flavoring. Yeah. I just got asked this morning if it was a certain beer in it, but. You could, it could be anything. Could be, yeah. yes. Which one is it? You're done with me, aren't yes, you? Yes. <laughs> Let's Next question. On. Next question. I have, I have completed all the questions and okay. you have completed all of the specials so you've done your job except you have a special guest i do dawn apparently dawn yes. from simple simon bakery in which direction luke should you head if you want to find a bakery in which find a bakery find or a bakery. oh um <sighs> close dawn but it's yeast yeast she said west <laughs> i knew it's it wasn't yeast. the actual direction of your bakery <laughs> So we will be right back with Dawn from Simple Simon Bay. Yes. Dawn from Simple Simon, thank you very much for coming. Hey Luke, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Wonderful. Good, Wonderful. good. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about Simple Simon Bakery? Um, like uh, when it was started, where it was started, and by whom it was started? Okay, the when, let's see, I am 54, so it's 55 years. I didn't years. ask you how, how I, old you I were. I know, but that's how I, I was, have, that's how I'm not I supposed have. to ask a female that, all right? <laughs> but that's how I have to remember okay. how long the bakery's been okay. there. Okay, okay. Um, so we're 55 years in business. 1968. Okay. My grandfather started the bakery, Sylvester Simon. Okay. And at that time, my dad was in the service in Vietnam. And when he got out of the service, my grandpa said, I'm retired. This is yours. Well, ready or not, here ready you go, or not. huh? But my dad did share a dream that he wanted to own a bakery. Someday. Okay. So my grandpa was retired from service bakery. Okay. And so then Bessler's Bakery, it was Bessler's Bakery, so he bought it at that okay. time. Okay. So he was, he was working there. Was gonna, okay. Yeah. So he was working there first and then he took it over. He, Correct. he purchased it from them. Okay. Correct. Okay. And you know how sometimes father and sons don't always work the best together? No, I don't have never, any experience with that. No, no. no. Oh. It was time. My grandpa, my grandpa needed to retire. My okay. Dad, it was his turn to take over. Okay. Yes. So you have the bakery with your brother. Correct. So was it time for your dad to retire when you guys were it like? Was. <laughs> it was when my brother. Do, is it okay to talk about <laughs> yes, this? Or is it okay? True. That's in the past. When, okay. When my brother um, came aboard, it was time for my dad to retire. Okay. Scott didn't need any help. Um, Scott was running everything perfectly. Okay. And my dad decided that... Did your that dad think that too, that he was running it perfectly? There's always discussions, okay. you know. <laughs> but um, my dad decided to become a deacon. 
So okay. he had another calling that he really wanted to do another sure. uh, mission. Okay. So okay. That's awesome. I mean, is he career. still doing that? He's retired He's now. He's retired. Okay. From from being a deacon. Okay. So okay. maybe we'll have another job when we retire from. You want to be a deacon? Do. No. No. Okay. I don't think okay. I, I can. Deacon so us. so our so our families are kind of intertwined, and oh, yeah. I think because of the because of the bakery and and meat market combo or whatever. Um, actually, your dad is who we called when when my dad needed some last right so it yes. was, was really really cool and I mean I don't know many people that can kind of have that relationship with their with their other families and stuff yeah. so um, so it was really really cool so we go back a ways nice. yes we do yes we do <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you I talked to you pre-show about um, some of the traditions that we have including Christmas Eve mm -hmm. when you guys come over here um, and we sing uh, White Christmas uh, since my dad passed away in 2015 um, we have had the uh, barbershop quartet in here thank God so <laughs> I, I know that you guys chip in for half of that so that you can, oh, yeah. can sound so great and everything like that um, but no we have uh, we have a barbershop quartet mm -hmm. here um, and then we always end on Christmas Eve at noon with s the simple Simon staff coming over here and singing White Christmas correct um, it's just a great tradition that we have had for a number of years, ever I, since your grandpa my started grandpa, it. Yeah, my uh, grandpa Sylvester enjoyed singing. I yeah. mean, it was known around town that you would see him at the Elks Club and he would just bust out a song. Sure, sure. It was usually, I, if I met a girl just like the girl that married dear old dad was one oh, of his definite okay. go-to okay. songs. Okay. Um, so he, I have, I can vision him coming in here with your grandpa sure. and just getting everybody Right in the meat market, and so going. He, and so he wasn't about just singing and having, putting on a show. He was about people joining in yes. and having yes. having it a full experience for everybody, not exactly. just himself. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So he awesome. and he could carry a tune. Okay. Unlike I think the <laughs> next generation <laughs> right. that we need right. a little help. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Um, so so that's every Christmas Eve um, at noon. You guys come at down noon. here, and that's just. That's one of my favorite yeah. traditions. Um, we have Santa cool. here always and everything. So yeah. thank you very much for continuing yeah, that as well. Cool. Yes, I yes. get my Luke hug. Right. <laughs> Once a year. <laughs> Once, Once a year. year. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so where are your products sold? We are at Jacob's Meat Market. Um, we are also at Meat Block and we are at Haynes Meat Market. We do deliver to a about four or five different gas stations. Okay. Um, anywhere from the De Pere to Greenville and everywhere in between. Okay. Kinda. Okay. We, uh, COVID, we decided that it's not really worth delivering to 32 different gas stations anymore. Sure. So we decided to become a little bit smaller. Okay. And concentrate on the important counts. Right. <laughs> and us. Yes. Right, right. <laughs> Um, you also, I think, have a retail location where you sell your stuff, correct? Just out on our Wisconsin Avenue. Okay. Location. Okay. What's the location of your bakery? Two eighteen East Wisconsin Avenue, right okay. across from St. Teresa Church. That is now they're tearing down the school park, which is yeah. Really How is that for you? It's really kind of intriguing to watch them yeah. tear it down. It's pretty cool. So I drive by there every day on the way to work okay. and from work, um, and it's just amazing, like the transformation. It really is. Did you, you know see the wrecking balls? There? That work out there? No, I didn't. Oh, that was a cool day. Really? And they had the record balls okay. out there. They didn't uh, go across the street and hit Simple Simon at all, did no. they? Okay. No, no. <laughs> all right, so can you tell us what's new with Simple Simon Bakery? What's new? Yeah. Um, new trends are cupcakes are super hot in fun <clears throat> flavors. It's not white chocolate and marble are nice. Right. But people really want to see like orange dreamsicle, strawberry lemon. We have a Marley special which is, um, it's a strawberry cake with uh, her favorite poppy seed, and then it's got cream cheese frosting. Okay. But just doing, um, during March, we did Girl Scout cookie, cup flavored cupcakes. You know, okay. it's just constantly, if there's flavors that you can think of, just like your brats, right. it can be done, right. and it's fun. Uh, it's, it's amazing to me. I, I was in there probably a year ago when I first noticed all of the cupcakes in there. How many different flavors of cupcakes do you typically make? We try to have I, I'm about sure 20. It rotates and yeah, we okay. 20 different flavors on hand at all times. Okay. Um, and you're right; they do our seasonal according right. to what's what's popular. So, does your dad ever walk? Do, do your parents ever walk in there and say, "Why do you have so many of these?" I mean, my dad yes. always did that with our brats. You know, we have 40 different flavors yep. of brats, and they're like. Yep. Why do you make all of these? We used to just have chocolate and vanilla. This and is that's, exactly that's what the it conversation is. that I was just having with my dad yesterday. Okay. Because he was helping Scott do the oven, okay. which was kind of comical. I thought Scott knew how to do everything. He does, but he's 
he needs help every now and then. Okay. 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 So the conversation was orange dreamsicle. What the heck? Strawberry. Did he say heck? Okay. Mm, maybe. Ish. Um, strawberry lemon. Are you doing, these are in cupcakes? Are you nuts? It's white chocolate, and if I knew somebody, they got poppy seed. Ooh, really? You know, they had to be special. Unless they had a drug yeah. test coming. That, too. <laughs> so so did, did you send some home with them to say, oh, hey, no, Dad, no, 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 no. here you go, try this out and let us know what you think? He comes in for his free donut every day. Oh, really? Yeah, what yeah. kind does he get? Same he does. Kind of he does. That is strawberry trees is his really? favorite. Or a white Persian with nuts. Okay. Those are his two White Persian and chocolate Persian with nuts are my That's favorite. My, chocolate yes. Persian with nuts is my yeah. favorite. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Um, is there anything that we missed? Oh, there's a lot that we missed. But um, like that's do you simple. like apples? No, I like cherries. Cherries? I'm a cherry pie girl. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm not an apple person. Okay. okay. Are that's you an apple person? I love apples, do yeah. You? What yeah. do you like about apples? Um, the new iPhone uh, 14 oh, Pro is, is I'm really I'm an Android girl. <laughs> See, you already I said can't. no, so that is backing up. <laughs> I am off the show. Off I'm the an show. Android girl, and yes, we have okay. problems. Okay, we do. We do. Yeah. That's perfect. perfect. I think that might be enough. I'd get one more. All right. All right. Um, Don, thank you very much for coming. Because we're on the show, I'm going to give you a second <laughs> hug of the year. All right. Thank you very much for coming. Thank um, you. And we, uh, we look forward to your bakery every single day. Every single day. Yes, we do. Yay. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Nice interview. Thank you. Did you know her? I did, <laughs> I, and I still do, yes. Do you know her? Yes, you, yeah. You met her before today, though. I did, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. It seems like you go back a long way. We do. Yeah. We do. Nice, nice. She's, that's a great local company that, that uh, you know, we partnered with for I did, I did probably put, since they started. I put some of their products, uh, they sell uh, buns of all kinds yes. here in your store. Yes. And one of my favorites, a sourdough bread. Yes. Sourdough. Not the um, sweet dough, the sourdough. The sourdough. Right. Oh, that's my preferred. But there's there's white, there's wheat. It's all right to my left. Yeah. They have you, uh, you didn't know it's right there. steak buns, uh, burger buns, brat buns, wiener buns. All right here. Yeah. All right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right here, right now. Do they come every day? I think they do. They do. I yes. They do. Even on Saturday, Scott comes in. Even on, how about Sunday? Uh, they do not. Will they come on Monday, Memorial Day? They won't. Ah, uh, they won't. I well, better tell her we're closed. Oh, they're probably closed, too. <laughs> they're probably closed. Yes. Shall I go into special days? Because, Might as well. You know, today is a banner day because you're starting a broad fry up again. But uh, this Friday, which is day after tomorrow, day after tomorrow, it 26th, is. is one of my favorite days. It is National Paper Airplane Day. Yeah. And I mention that only because I like it, not because you sell paper airplanes, but I bet you have some paper. We do. Do you know how to make a paper airplane? I do. Do oh, you? We're going to do that right after we're all... Are you do? Do yeah. you? Yeah. You do? Okay. All right. I think we're on air we should just do a contest right now. On the air. Yeah. All right. This... A quick one? You don't know. Yes. Here's the, here's the fastest one. <laughs> there. Just flies. See how far it goes. <laughs> well, you're Are you really not going to make one? 
On the air? Yeah. I, I just hold on while we sit here and make paper airplanes. Oh, they're gonna love this. Mine take 30 minutes because I do origami paper airplanes. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know when the last time I made a paper airplane. You entertain, Aren't you so glad? <laughs> entertain the troops while I'm folding paper here. Oh, you're gonna really make it like that? That's exactly how I'm gonna make it. Exactly I'm gonna make it. All right, whoever whoever's goes furthest, how about whoever goes the shortest buys lunch? How about that? Okay, that's fine. It's a deal? It, what, what is lunch? Is the broad fry? Sure. Or, or are we going somewhere? Because I gotta have Let's the broad fry. broad fry, yes. Well, you already okay. said you were which, going to. Which, so. which way are we going with these? Uh, towards the camera. Which way do you think? <laughs> Yours won't you even get customers. that far. That's no, right. I don't think it will. Yeah, we'll go that way. How about that? Mine actually went further. All right, bets off. Mine actually went okay. bets off. Bets off. Not, but that's Friday. You right. have until Friday to, right. to, to get it right. Uh, Sunday, the 28th, is National Hamburger Day. So come here and get your hamburgers. You have patties and you have we do. Yeah. ground chuck. Yep. Uh, and Monday, have I mentioned? It's Memorial Day. This Monday? This coming Monday. Memorial. Is it? You should take the day off. In I fact, should go to Go see a parade. Okay. Go <laughs> see a parade. Uh, we had a giveaway last week, and we were giving away four sassy honey barbecue brats. And the winner is Karen Norman. So Karen congratulations, Norman. Karen. Please come down. And you do have them still, right? Sassy honey barbecue brats. Yes. You enjoyed it, don't she, you? She threw it further than I did. <laughs> Karen I Norman, congratulations. I'll, What's next week's prize? You want to do a pro you want to do yeah, one? Yeah, let's do okay. it. Let's do it. So this prize is going to be a fifty dollar gift card for Jacob's Meat Market. I'm sorry, did you say fifty? Fifty, yes. U.S. Five dollar zero, yes. U.S. dollar a fifty dollar gift yes. card to let's Jacob's some, Meat Market. Yeah, let's get some comments. Rolling. What? Uh, so they have to comment. Yes. Either in YouTube or on Facebook. Yes. Just comment. Say hello. Say so great show, maybe. So what I think they should do is they should share it, and by sharing it. I'm not a big IT guy, but if you put at. Oh, the at sign in somebody's. And yeah. then somebody's name. So you want them to mention someone in the comment. Correct. So that that person will also be subjected to this yes. brilliant show. Yes. Tune in, watch out, right? Tune in, watch out. Yes. That's all I've got. <clears throat> that's but all that's I've But that's a great too. prize. Do I get to enter? Sure. Okay. Do you know a lot of people that you're going to ask? I know a few. Yes. Okay. okay. Is that, is this a random drawing or does it depend on how many people you share it with? Yes. Okay. You heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're cute. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, that's the wrong, wrong one. one. That's right. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll be back again next Wednesday if you'll do it. You promise? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next Wednesday, uh, after Memorial Day at 10:30 a.m. with another live broadcast of BS TV. Uh, please like this video. Don't forget to like it and uh, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, YouTube.com, and it's Jacob's Meat Market is the name of our YouTube channel. Um, come visit us at the store at the corner of Law and Pacific Street, and we are open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. except for Memorial Day, except which is this Monday. coming Monday. Yes. Do we happen to know? I forgot to ask before the show who the guest is for next week. Uh, we do. We do. Are you yes. going to tell us? Sure. Who it's is uh, Jim from Jim's Produce. Jim's Produce is going to be here. Yes. Is he going to bring produce? He will he produce? Will he produce produce? Yes, he should. Yes. Thank you very yes. much. We Thanks will see lot. you next week. We'll try harder next week.